This is likely to be chaos. Oh, look at that. Holy moly, what a fantastic day. Now I'm starting this video out with my cell phone. I know I don't like uh, using the cell phone video because it's kind of uh, overexposed and I have to do a lot of work in post just to get it presentable. But that's not the point. The point is, is it is a beautiful Saturday morning. And when I say morning, I mean it's eight o'clock and it is uh, probably about 58 degrees right now. Sun is low in the sky, but I've got a lot of work to do today. Today, my goal is to do bees all day long. I've got to go through every single one of these hives and verify that I have a queen in each one of them because we did do a lot of splits and remove some queens. I need to make sure that we've either got a queen or we're on the road to having a queen in these hives as well as these hives back in the back. The only issue that I have is that it's uh, kind of a pain in the butt to go through hives this early in the morning because there's a lot of workers still in the hives which means I can get lit up and I really don't want to get lit up. Anyways, let me get my gear on, my smoker lit, my camera's set up and, uh, and we'll get going. Okay, so the shadows are going to prove to be a pain in the butt in today's filming, but we're gonna do the best we can. Hello, girls. No hive beetles, that's a plus. I need to see a queen. Holy moly, this box is slap full of honey. Your friend, I don't want any stings this early on a Saturday morning. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that is solid brood. Solid brood. Holy moly. Okay, so this box. Oh, more brood on this side. Wow. That is unbelievable. Okay. Okay, we have a lot of drone brood. And a lot of worker brood, so that's a good sign. Oh, and there is a queen cup. It is not charged. We're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that's gone. I don't want any more swarms. We're done with the swarms, ladies. Oh, there's our queen, and she's a beauty. Hello, young lady. There's your dot. We're gonna put you in here to dry. Hey, there's our queen. We're going to let her sit right there for a moment. Okay, these girls have a ton of brood in this box. I am going to have to get them some more space. There's no doubt about it. Brood on there as well as resources. Brood on there as well as resources. Every single frame has got brood on it. Okay, we have waxed frames here. Let's, uh, let's do some checkerboarding with these girls. Give these girls a nice empty right there. Move this over. Provide them with another empty. Move that over. Oh, that is a full frame of honey. Okay, we've got no resources on, or no, no brood on this one. Some janky comb. Okay, that one will go in the top box. There we go. Empty. We're going to go ahead and give you this one back. And another empty. Right here. And right there. Here's your queen. Give you your queen. Here she goes. Hey, queen, you need to go down. There she goes. Queen's back in the hive. All right, so that wasn't what I expected. That, that hive was slap full, but we did find a queen. No queen cells. I think they are ready for honey production this season. Let's go to the next hive. Let's see here, ladies. Coming in. Maybe. So the good news is, no hive beetles yet. Okay, that is a ton of bees. Let's see what you have going on in here, girls. On this side is 100% capped. These girls have solid frames, capped honey already. 
this whole box apparently is full. Oh, that's a heavy box. Son of a gun. All right, please show me some brood. Please. They're building, they're building comb down there like they have one. No eggs at all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these girls have no queen. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give these girls, I'm going to give these girls a, uh, a frame of eggs. So let me, uh, let me get next door here inside the Navy hive and see if we can find some eggs. Okay, we have eggs. Make sure I don't have a queen in here. I do not have a queen. I'm going to shake this off. I'm going to give these girls some eggs right in the center of their hive. There you go, make a queen. Make a queen. And in trade for that, you girls are gonna get a frame that they've just started drawing out. There you go. I know I have a queen in this hive, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to give them this back, which I know has brood in it, because it's not as heavy as honey. I'm going to give them a full box that hive is good to go now. Let me put this one back together. I've got bees all over it. But I tell you what, now that I've given these bees those eggs, the hive got quiet all of a sudden. And that is a good thing. All right, that was an adventure. Not one that I expected. And I've got a bunch of girls hanging on the outside of the box, but they'll eventually work their way back in. We're not going through Navy now because we know that there's a queen in there. I just took some eggs. We're going to go through Army which has been a lot of fun this year. So this is not turning out the way that I'd planned. I hope that this hive is in better shape than the, uh, than the Air Force hive. But these girls just swarmed twice, so I'm expecting that they're going to have a queen. It's going to be a virgin. This hive is going to be very, very light. They're not going to need a super because they've got resources, 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 resources. So these four are filled with honey. These have nothing. And I'm going to hope I've got a queen down there in the bottom. All right, ladies. Oh, oh, there she is. We have a virgin queen. This one looks like she's already mated, though. Another bee. her right there and let's release our newly painted queen oh that's a lot of bees so far every frame they're storing honey okay we have we have larva and we have a chewed out queen cell, so we have a new queen. Yay! Okay, I hear you getting loud. I'll spritz of the old smokeroni. Let's see here. Okay, we have honey, but we've also got bee bread in there. Oh, oh, we have a queen. Brand new queen right there. Got her. Let's mark her. You're getting, you're getting paint all over yourself. Okay, there's our new queen. We have a new queen. You release your queen. Right down into the bottom. There she goes. She's back down in the hive. She's happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. I'm gonna cover that up. They do not need any extra space. There you go. The only hives that I have up here that I think might be queenless would be Juno, the Juno hive, and possibly, possibly the red hive because they, and maybe even the green hive, because they were really, really loud. 
last time. I was intimate, I could not find the queen when I was doing splits. Right, what do we have happening here? Oh, there is a there's a chewed out queen cell on the bottom. Oh, and there are Okay, so we have a queen, a queen cell, a chewed out queen cell, another chewed out queen cell, and another chewed out queen cell on the back of this frame. Boy, I hope we have one in here. I don't want any more swarms. If we have a queen in here, I'm taking those swarm cells out. And they're gonna have to just make do with the queen that they have. We have here. No eggs, no nothing. Oh, I hope some of my other bee barns are in better shape than this. All right, let's move on to the Crynock bees. Now let's look at these girls. They were doing really, really well. Now I fear that everybody's gonna be doing really, really bad, which is not good. Oh, no, I take that back. The Crynock bees are still Crynock bees. Oh, goodness. This is a full box of honey. So this, oh goodness, is coming off. All right, now let's get into the uh, into the meat. I see girls with pollen on their feet. That is a good sign. Oh, and we have brood. Okay, so we do have a cryonaut queen in here. I don't want to roll her. Okay. This this is why I want the cry not. There's our queen right there. She's a nice big fat one too. Goodness. All right, corn cry not queen. You're a beauty. You are a beauty. You're gonna sit right there. There you go, girls. Here's your new. Here's your not your new queen. Here's your queen back. There she goes. She's back down in the hive. And the Crynock bees, well, they're doing what the Crynock bees do. Crynock bees are always in, in good shape. Let's move over to the purple hive. Okay, I do have bees in here drawing this box out. We have bees in here pulling wax. That is a good sign. Okay, yep. Oh, goodness, what do we have here? Low and steady. Okay, that is resources, drones, lots and lots of resources. They are pulling comb on the bottom. I would replace the white one, but uh, but they're pulling comb, so I'm going to leave it. I'll take brood, but a queen would be better. So, I, mean, I saw pollen, which is a good sign. If we're bringing in pollen, there's generally a queen. That is 100% empty. Oh, I mean, we have bee bread on the bottom and we have honey on the top, but there, there is no brood. Okay, what do we have here? We have we have some girls with pollen on their pollen baskets, but oh, there's a big giant chewed out queen cell right there. It's a monster. It was chewed out. Let's see, if we have one on the other side. Yeah, there's another chewed out queen cell on that side. Last frame, please let there be a queen or eggs on this frame. No eggs, no milk brood. We have another queenless hive. This isn't good. I had those, que those, those, those chewed out queen cells. But the problem is they just don't make it back. I do not see a lot of activity on this landing board. That is all bee bread on that side. I don't see a queen. Oh, hey, 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 we have larva. We have larva. Okay, that is a, that's a bonus. Oh, we have cat brood. We have a Juno and it's worker brood. Oh, I'm happy. Okay, let's see. Can we find our new queen? We know she's in the hive. Excellent. She's allowed to hide from me. Okay. I'm going to put this hive away and uh, cross my fingers and hope for the best. Okay. 
So, so far we are only purchasing two queens. Uh-oh. We're not pouring out for a swarm, are we? No, 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 no. No swarm today. I'm about, I'll split you right now if I have to. I'll take you out of there and, and put you in another hive. I've got a hive that needs a queen. Yep, we have a swarm happening right now. That's what these girls want to do. Oh. Come on, ladies. No swarming, no swarming. No swarming, no swarming. Oh, they're pouring out. Plan B. The queen has obviously not come out yet. So we are not going to let her come out. That hive is choked off until they calm down. We're going to move on to the white hive. Okay, what are the odds of that happening? Right when I walk up on it, they start dumping out of the hive. Woo! Hello, ladies. Oh, this is a busy hive. And these girls are going to need another super. Okay, that one's full. Let's lift this up. I do not see any queen cells there. That is good. Okay, this is a nice hive. This is a nice hive. This was very weak a while ago, but they have they have built themselves up. I'm going to put this one back together. This one I'm not even going to go through. There's no queen cups in there that I can see. Oh goodness. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give these girls another box. Here you go. New box for you. Congratulations. You've made the cut for this year's harvest. Okay. Hello, ladies. Okay, that is all. It's all honey. Both sides. There we go. Okay, we have a chewed out queen cell right there, which means we're going to have a virgin queen in here if we have a queen at all. If she made it back because we have the guardian issue. Okay, we have some capped brood. This is my last year of the guardians. I'm going to come up with uh, I'm going to come up with a different entrance for these bee barns. I'm not going to run the guardians anymore, at least not during mating season on the. Uh, I'm not going to run them at all on the bee barns, but I'm not going to run them during mating season back on the back hives. This is, uh, guardians, as far as I'm concerned, are suicide. Okay. It's a lot of bees on there. The question is, do we have a queen? I have no brood. All right, so I'm going to have to purchase a queen for this hive. Another queenless hive. Not good. Okay, your population looks good. I'm going to go ahead and remove this box. This one here, they are drawing out. There is bees in here working. There is stuff happening in here. The last time I was in this hive, this was a full honey box. Let's uh, lift this up. Make sure I don't see any swarm cells on the bottom. I don't. Oh, I do see brood right away. Okay. Where is brood in this box? So that tells me that we do have a queen in here. Oh, there's our queen. No, we do have one. She is last year's queen. She's right there. Okay. She's sketch. She is. She is sketch. She's not. Uh, she's not producing the way that she needs to be producing. She needs to be replaced. Okay, now let's go open that blue hive and hope that we don't get a swarm. Okay, so if we get a swarm here, I'm hoping that we will catch it on film. Let's, uh, let's open this up. Maybe they've called off their swarm for now. If I find the queen, my plan is to move the entire box with the queen 
back there to the back bench because I have I have a, a, a bottom board already set up back there with an inner cover and a lid. So let's uh, let's begin the process here. We're going to start by taking off the top, and chances are these girls are going to be angry. Be Ooh, because I closed them up and they are loud. I can hear them in here. This is likely to be chaos. Oh, look at that. They still have it in their mind to swarm and that's what they're doing. So I guess at this point, we're just gonna have to wait and see where they go. Unbelievable. Wow. All right, I guess I can look for the queen. I thought they would have called off their swarm, but apparently they did not. Oh, that's a, this is gonna be a monster swarm. I'm gonna lose a ton of bees here. I guess my path forward is going to be to try to find the queen and catch her. Oh, ladies. Okay. Let's see if we can find the queen. They're all fanning like crazy. Fanning like crazy. I was right, this is chaos. Is there a queen on this box? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove one of these boxes and take it back to the back and just set it there. All right, so I just took half of their bees away and just moved the hive. So let's see what these girls do. Are they going to come back? Was their queen in that box? All of these questions and more will be answered next week on SOAP. Does anybody know what I'm referring to there? You may, if you're my age, you'll know what I'm talking about. Gotta have something to talk about while these girls are doing what it is they're doing. Does anybody remember when Bert got abducted by aliens? I mean, it happened, right? Let's do an inspection. Why the heck not? Let's see what's going on here. See what's happened. Let's pull a couple of frames. Hello. Why don't we get under there? We'll get the old squash roo. First time for everything. Let's see what we have happening here. Maybe we'll pull the frame out with the queen and I'll be able to cage her. Oh, goodness. Oh, honey, there is some brood there. Oh, and a giant queen cell right there in the top. Okay, so maybe that's why they're swarming. Maybe that thing is gonna hatch. Okay. Okay, that's okay. At least we know that we have a queen. If one gets away, you won't go queenless like the rest of them. Okay. We have another queen cell right there. Big one. And another one right there. Supersedure cell. No queen. But we've got queen cells everywhere in this box. I mean, everywhere. This whole, this whole top box is loaded with them. Okay. What that tells me is that we have queen cells. We have enough queen cells to go around here. Okay, every frame that has a queen cell on it is going down into that super for now. Give these girls some new, new frames. I'm going 
to move that frame over a bit, this frame over a bit, give them a new frame, give them a new one right here, and a new one on the other side of this. And I'm going to dump this right here. I have no swarm anywhere. I'll have to step back and check the trees, but I think they all relaxed. Don't know where the queen is, but there's a good chance she's on the front of this 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 nightmare, this this chaos here. All right, let's see here. If I find a queen, she needs to get caged and moved. They're fed up with the bug farmer being in here today, but we've got work to do, ladies. If I was a bee, this is the perfect place to wake up every single morning. Great sunrise, the whole nine yards. Okay, because we need to find the queen either here or on the front of the box. She is somewhere, we need to get her. Okay, what do we have here? We have resources there. Oh, there's our queen. Okay, we got her. Okay, we got our queen. That is what we needed. That is what we needed. Okay, so they are not going to swarm with that queen right now. This away. I'll move this queen back to that back box. Okay, so now the queen has been moved. So these girls will get some of their queen cells. Their swarm has happened in their mind. So this is a job for the aggravator. And for those of you who are new to my channel, you don't know what the aggravator is, let me show you. This is the aggravator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the aggravator and the smoker to get these girls in the hive and I'm going to set their super back on top. I don't see another queen on here anywhere. more your girls right here all right well there you go the end of another adventure now this 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 video did not turn out how I expected as they never do it's always something comes up and then it takes precedent and, and this video became about the blue hive so I've got a couple of bee barns that do not have Queens and those bee barns are going to get Queen cells from this hive now this hive started to swarm right when I opened it up. We unleashed chaos to the world, but they all ended up coming back here after I took all of the queen cells out of here and the queen that was in this hive. So the queen that was in here, we found her on the bottom, moved her back to the back bench. The queen cells had a whole box of maybe 10, 12 queen cells. I've moved those over to the other side of the apiary, sealed these girls up. They're starting to calm down now, and I'm going to take those queen cells and distribute those throughout the apiary to all of the bee barns who did not have queens, and I'll even put a couple more in here so that they can make sure that they get a new queen. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the chaos that we unleashed, but it was it was fun for you, I'm sure, and, and it was interesting for me, and we found our way through it, so all is right with the world. But if you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I do try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. With all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.